Hello everyone, hope you have been having a very lovely day and in this session I would like to tell you how to obtain the root locus of a given transfer function using the MATLAB software. So first of all you need to write down an M file by clicking the new on the top left in here but in my case I have already written an M file for root locus so I'm just opening that M file. So let me just tell you that finding out the root locus is very, 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 very simple in MATLAB. So first of all, you need to take numerator as an input from the user, which you're using, which you're doing by the help of numbers equal to input to enter the numerator. And in the same way, you're taking the denominator as an input from the user. And h is equal to tf of num comma den is the way you take the num and den and put them into a transfer function. Say you give s as the numerator and s squared plus 3 as the denominator, h is going to be s by s squared plus 3. So r locus of h is the function which plots the root locus of the transfer function. So to execute it, you can click either F5 or you can type the program name directly in your MATLAB command window. And now I'm using F5. There we go. So enter the numerator. I'm entering 1 space 3, which means the numerator is S plus 3. And the denominator, I'm entering 1 space 4 space 6 space 0 space 8. So, can you guess the meaning of this? It means 8 plus 0s plus 6s squared plus 4s cubed plus s power 4. I put a 0, I put a, I put a 0 in here to indicate that there is no s term. If I don't put the 0, the MATLAB will not understand that it's not the s term that is missing. It's gonna omit, it's going to omit the s power 4 term. So this is my denominator and there we go. Let me show you. See, there we go. H is the transfer function, S plus 3. And now let me show you the root locus. This is the root locus. So the, you can see the 0 in the circle form, which is the 0 of the transfer function. And the x's are the poles of the transfer function. So we have one branch meeting the zero and one and the green, red and the cyan uh, branches going to infinity. The navy blue branch meets the zero. So this is how you're gonna obtain the root locus of a given transfer function using MATLAB. So I'm closing this and I'm solving another example and this time let me type the name of the program. I have saved it under the name root underscore locus so I'm typing the name of the program and clicking enter so I'm gonna enter the numerator by one space three space five L uh, let's give a bigger things and the denominator is two space five space seven space nine space eight so this is the transfer function and this is the root locus so in this way you can find the root locus of a transfer function in MATLAB and today, maybe in the evening, I'll be uploading another video of how to find out the root locus in Scilab, which is an alternative to MATLAB and what more, it's open source. So anyways, hope you find this video informative and if you're having an exam tomorrow or today, all the very best and thank you for watching and bye.